Good morning. So, this week we're going to be looking at multiplication sentences using the times multiplication symbol. Okay? So, you all know what the multiplication symbol is. It's this one here. First of all, what does lots of mean? If I said I wanted five lots of two, what does lots of mean? Have a think for a few moments. Okay, lots of means how many groups of a number there is. So for example, there are three lots of two. The lots of is the groups, okay? So there are three groups of two, okay? Two is the amount within the group. Three is the amount of groups there are, okay? So lots of is how many groups there are. Have a look at this then. So. What number sentences could you write about this? So if I said to you, you have got three groups and there are six in each group. Cast your minds back to last week. How else could you write that? So you've got three groups and you've got six in each group. Pause the video and see if you can write that in a number sentence. Okay, so there are three groups of six, so I would have written it either as six add six add six, okay, because you've added them all together, or I would have written it as three times by six, so three multiplied by six, because there are three lots of six, okay? So this multiplication sign here can also be read as lots of, so there are three lots of six. So in this question here then, so we've got four multiplied by five, or we've got four lots of five. So what does the four represent and what does the five represent? So if there are four lots of five, that means that there are four groups, okay? Because that is your lots of, four groups. And there are five in each group. Okay, if I was going to draw that, I would want four lots of five. So four lots, so I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five in each, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. 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 So I've got four groups and I've got five in each group. I have got four lots of five. Okay, have a look at this one. Can you complete this question yourself? If you need to, Draw a diagram to help you, like we did on the previous slide. So you want nine lots of three. What does the nine represent? What does the three represent? Pause the video and have a go. Nine lots of three. Okay, let's have a look then. So the nine represents the amount of equal groups and the three represents how much is in each group. So you've got nine groups with three in each. If you wanted to draw it, you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got nine groups with one, two, three, one, two, three. 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 And one, two, three. So you've got nine groups and three in each group. Well done if you got that one correct. Can you have a go at this one now? So you've got four groups of six. So four multiplied by six. 
What does the 4 represent? What does the 6 represent? 4, lots of 6. Pause the video and have a go. OK, let's have a look then, shall we? So the 4 represents the amount of equal groups. So you've got 4 groups and the 6 represents how much is in each group. So you've got 4 groups of 6. So if we drew that, 1, 2, 3, 4 groups with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you've got four groups with six in each group. Well done. How would I write four multiplied by six as a story? So four lots of six as a story. So what I mean by story is how would I say it, okay? So for example, for this first one, I've got four multiplied by six. So I've got four groups of six. So I would write that as there are four equal groups and there are six in each group, okay? Four equal groups, four lots of, and there are six in each group, okay? So that's what I mean by story. Can you have a go at this one? Can you write four multiplied by, sorry, three multiplied by five as a story? Pause the video and have a go. Okay then, so I would write this as there are three equal groups. The word equal is very important because it means there's the same amount in each group. So there are three equal groups and there are five in each group. Well done if you got that correct. Okay, so this one is very much like we've done before. We've just got multiplication added onto the end. So. There are three equal groups with two in each group. Can you draw it, add it and multiply it? Okay, three equal groups with two in each group. So they've given you the story. You've got to draw it and then show it as an addition, show it as a multiplication. Pause the video and have a go at that one. Okay, let's have a look then. So if we draw it, I've got three equal groups and I've got two in each group. As an addition, it would be two, add two, add two, because you've got three groups of two. And as the multiplication, it would be three multiplied by two, because it's three lots of six, or sorry, three lots of two, or three groups of two. Well done if you got that one correct. Have a go at this one now. So it's the same sort of thing. You don't need to draw it this time, but you do need to write the story. So remember, the story is just saying it out loud. So you've got 10, add 10, add 10. So you've got to do the multiplication of the story. You've got 6 multiplied by 5, or 6 lots of 5. So you've got to do the addition in the story. Then you've got, there are 5 equal groups with 2 in each group. So you need to do the multiplication and the addition. So pause the video now and have a go at that one. Okay, let's have a look then, shall we? So, you need, there are six equal groups. Okay, so for the first one, you've got 10, add 10, add 10. So the multiplication would be three multiplied by 10 because there are three lots of 10 or three groups of 10. Okay, and your story, would be there are three equal groups with 10 in each group. For the second one, you've got six multiplied by five, okay? So your addition would be five, add five, add five, add five, add five, add five, but you've got six groups of the number five. So group one, two, three, four, five, six. And your story would be there are six equal groups with five in each group. Well done if you got that one correct.
And then the last one, the story is there are five equal groups with two in each group. So your multiplication would be five multiplied by two. Your addition would be two, add two, add two, add two, add two. Add two. Well done if you got that one correct. Let's have a look at this last question then for today. So, Mo says that 3 add 3 add 3 equals 3 multiplied by 3. So, don't get confused here with there being two calculations either side of the equal sign. Because this equal sign also means is the same as. So, what this is really saying is 3 add 3 add 3 is the same as 3 multiplied by 3. So what I would do, I would use this bit and I would draw an image to help me. I would draw 3 add 3 add 3 and I would draw 3 multiplied by 3. So remember, that's the same as saying 3 groups of 3. Okay? And then it, tell me if it's correct and explain why. Pause the video and have a go. Okay then, so... Mo is correct. 3 times 3 means 3 equal groups of 3. 3 add 3 add 3 also means 3 equal groups of 3. So they could both be represented like this. So I've got 1, 2, 3 groups with 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 with 3 in each group. So he is correct because 3 add 3 add 3 is the same as 3 times 3. Well done if you got that one correct. I'll speak to you soon.